What's good, YouTube? Native Mass Collector. Uh, back with another Mail Week video of sports cards and now collectible cards. Um, <clears throat> pot picked up some uh, Marvel cards just to kind of, you know, I don't really know. I mean, I know Marvel and, and whatnot, but as far as like the cards go, I don't know mo too much about them. Besides the fact that people are buying them up, mainly the 1990 set, the first set that came out. Um, people are all over that one and generally when that happens you know the price gets so expensive that I just look at the following year like second year card so um, I just picked up this little this was like 10 bucks you know they're not good really good condition at all they're kind of banged up or whatever but I figured get, get my feet wet a little bit take a look at some of these um, this guy is pretty rad he kind of reminds me of uh, the boogeyman from the real Ghostbusters cartoon. Um, and then I actually, I picked up a whole set of 1991. Oops, upside down. There we go. So I think it's 162 cards or so. Um, these are all in pretty decent condition. They're not you know, perfect by any stretch, but you know, for 50 bucks, I thought maybe I'd just get a set and, you know, get lucky with some good cards in there. So got these. Which has really, really fantastic, um, you know, artwork on these things. It's great. Nightcrawler, Iron Man, Gambit. So really cool. Sure, you can look up the whole set and see it online if you're curious. But a lot of cards there. I think I just mixed them all up by accident. But, so, got that set. That was the only non sports cards of this mail week. Um, I picked up a couple of these Kobe Bryant cards that are that were released in 2017 for the 2K or 2016 for the two, NBA 2K17 game. Um, these came out of the actual hoops NBA hoops retail boxes, I believe, as inserts. Um, numbers 11 through 20, I believe. The first 10 were actually randomly inserted into um, legend versions of the game so those are probably the ones you want to start targeting are the numbers one through ten those are the harder ones to get but i thought they were cool kobe playing kobe um got a luca get out the way nba hoops premium prism I got some more Bowman's Best. Uh, this one here is just the base, or the, the regular insert, it's not the refractor. Uh, Grant Hill and Jalon Howard. Um, I got my Scotty Pippen on the face. It's really good, really nice condition. And David Robinson on the back. This is a really good card, I think. I mean, you got two Hall of Famers that, you know, top 50 ever to play, pretty much. Um, Sean Kemp on one side, Glenn Rice on the other. They were in the same rookie class. Grant Hill, and Juwan Howard. And I got 
got another Kevin Garnett. Not centered is great, but I got a good deal on it. And Jerry Stackhouse on the back. And then I got one more of these Patrick Ewing with Carl Malone on the back. I'm using some old, older top loaders for these things. <laughs> <clears throat> Still use them up. Um, I got some DeAndre Hunter. So I picked up this whole group of cards in one lot for uh, 20 some bucks, I think it was. 25 or something. So two of the, the tribute base, two of his regular base rookie cards. These are all Hoops Premium. Um, then I got five of the tribute Pulsars and five of the regular pulsar prisms so, um atlanta in my opinion is so stacked full of talent that they just don't know how to coach these guys i don't know what you guys think if you ever watch them play but there's just way too much talent to, to spread the ball around John Collins, Clint Capella, DeAndre Hunter, Cam Reddish, Kyle Hooter, uh, Horder, Trey Young, uh, Bruno Fernando. Stack full of people. I mean, who do you... I think John Collins or Hunter, they're probably going to get traded just because, I mean, what do you do with these guys? So that's those... Um, I got some more Colin Sexton. So this is the second year. This is uh, 2019 Optic. These are all uh, hollow. One, two, three, seven. So we got nine. And I think most of these came in one sale, like a lot of eight or six or something like that. Um, uh, Blue Velocity that same year and then I got this new hoops premium cracked blue ice and a red prism from the hoops premium and then I got this stack of Christian wood <laughs> this was actually supposed to be a Christian wood card but the, the seller put the wrong card in there. So I got a Darius Baisley rookie. It was only like a five buck thing, so it's not a big deal. Darius Baisley is probably the better one anyways. Um, this one here is the just the regular new 2020-21 hoops. It's the, uh, you know, it's like a hollow refractor version. It's numbered out of 199. So it's a 125 out of 199. A little off centered, but it's a numbered one. Take it. And then the stack starts. So three regular base. Eight of the hollows. Silvers. We got one laser. Two mojos. Silvers. Uh, two purple ice. One cracked blue ice. One cracked red ice. Two checkerboard premium. So these are numbered to one. 149 so what i believe is like one out of every five sets that are pulled out of, of target's shelf had this as the whole set this premium prism or whatever you want to call it that's number to one one uh, 49 and then i got this bad boy in so this one here is a T-Mall Golden Shimmer uh, numbered 
out of eight. So this one's number two out of eight. It's really good condition. Um, I think I'm sending it. I'm going to try out HGH. I'm going to send this card into them because this is going to be one of those cards that I'm going to hold on to. Um, as far as like the, the investment into it is not that much. So it's not like I need to try to flip it or anything. You know, I think I paid a hundred bucks for it. Um, maybe a little bit more than that, but it's really nice. And I don't see myself picking up any 101s, so this is kind of the closest it's going to get for me, probably. But really, really nice card. And then I have Pulsars. Pulsar Prisms. Um, again, I, I bought one lot of 29. That's These all came together in one, one listing off of eBay. So, um, yep, so that's my mail week um, from, from February 13th to February 19th mail week. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, great. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. Just hit that like button, even if you don't subscribe. Um, that way you'll just uh, help out the channel a little bit and get some more exposure. Also hit that bell for any notifications that you might want for new videos when I put those out. And uh, appreciate you guys and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.